Well, how are you assessing things now then? The season's ticking down to a close, isn't it? And unfortunately, it, it looks like there's not going to be much riding on it in terms of league positioning. No, but uh, I think three games to go, you want to finish as high as possible. Yes, we can't get the playoffs and we can't obviously get, go into the relegation zone, but there's still a lot to play for. Uh, pride uh, is the main thing. Uh, we want to finish as high as possible. It's been a bit of a, a roller coaster season, ups and downs and trials and tribulations. So. It's, a, it's important to, to finish well going into to next year. And you came close to the playoffs as well, because just a couple more results and you've be, really been in the mix. Yeah, uh, that's, like, that's what I just said, like the ups and downs. Uh, I think the pressing game hurt the boys quite quite hardly. Uh, Equalised in the 95th minute, something it was. Uh, but I think uh, the main priority you've got to look at your home form. Uh, your home form's not been good enough to get into the playoffs. Uh, but hopefully we'll finish the season well and that, that, that then follows into to next year and uh, a new campaign. What do you put the Paul Holm form down to then? How would you assess it? Well, the pitching great, uh, truthfully. It might look alright from the sidelines but it's not, not the best to play on it. Uh, I don't know really. That's, I think you can look at all, all sorts of different things. Uh, we don't change anything. The, the pre-match and things like that doesn't change. So, uh, you can have, yes, you can have a you point a little finger at the at the, the middle of the pitch, but uh, it's been like that for quite a while now, so you should be accustomed to it. Uh, I don't know if I think if we knew what it actually was, we'd have changed things. Uh, so uh, hopefully next year we can we can turn that around and make it a fortress here and, and one that uh, is a positive.